السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ ویلکم ٹو آر کلاس ٹوڈے ٹوئنٹی فرسٹ اپریل فرائیڈے اینڈ دس از جی ٹو کلاس اینڈ اٹینڈنس دس ٹائم از تھرٹی اینڈ ٹوڈے اور کو ہوسٹ ول بی in charge discipline L09 so I like to give okay assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah L09 assalamu alaikum uh, assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum are you able to admit uh, the participants yeah uh, uh, yes okay no problem so this time everyone is uh, in the classroom and if someone comes uh, now and then you will be uh, admitting them yeah yeah oh, good now <clears throat> n478 i like to give mic to you and we start the class with the prayers <clears throat> assalamu alaikum n478 assalamu alaikum n478 assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. All praise belongs to Allah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, have you been taking part in these classes from the very beginning? Since yes, but I've, missed, but, uh, yes, but I've missed a few of them. Uh, how many classes you missed? Um, I can't remember. I think there were lots. Okay. You know, one, two, three, five, ten. How many? Approximately. Approximately about five or six. Five and six. Okay, good. Five and six. Okay, not bad. Okay. Okay, so far... You know, every class sta uh, is started with the, the prayers. Can you read for me the prayer which is in front of, I think, uh, this prayer, the prayer taught by Allah to the promised Messiah, alayhi salatu wasalam. Can you please read for me this one? Rabbi al-ni'alin Nima huwa khayrum in yaka In daka In zaka Okay, when we, uh, the last letter mm -hmm. should be mute when we make a stop there So in dak In dak Okay so this is the prayer of uh, Allah the Almighty taught and revealed to the promised Messiah uh, Do you have the, this prayer sheet in your folder? Sorry, can you say that again please? Uh, <clears throat> do you have all PDF or do you have uh, the, uh, you know, this prayer sheet in your folder, in your file? Um, no. So you have to download each and every lesson, including this prayer sheet before that and after that and, and put them in your file so that you can memorize afterwards. Otherwise, if you're just, you know, uh, relying and reading on the screen, and then you waiting for the next day and the next day and uh, no access on uh, weekend okay then it is not good you you should have some file you know that the, these lessons should be printed out should be downloaded and printed and put them in into your personal file so that you can uh, revise afterwards okay because uh, by the grace of allah so far uh, you know, more than four weeks gone, and we are now in fifth weeks, maybe in the sixth, but definitely in the fifth week. And by uh, so far, we must have memorized these small prayers. It's only four or five 
uh, words in one prayer so must have been memorized so can you read from this prayer from mind from your mind rabbi alimni ma huwa khairun indak or you have to read from uh, your uh, the screen i have to read it from the screen okay if you have if you have uh, downloaded and put them into file by so far you then you had a good chance to uh, memorize okay learn by heart but anyway it is important for every child may uh, nasrat or from atfal that they should download uh, these lessons print them and put them into your in into your personal file okay because uh, inshallah taala you are going to move to the next level and unless you cover and you pass this level you cannot be moved to the next level okay so rabbi allimni ma huwa khairun indak okay um from which jamaat you are central birmingham central birmingham central okay well done okay um how many sections how many pages do you recite on daily basis how many pages one half page one page two page three pages how many pages uh, how many ruku you uh, recite daily well um i don't read the quran much so when i read it i read about um three um rakus no the better you have okay do you take your food on daily basis okay did yes. you, did you do breakfast daily did you do your lunch or dinner daily yes or twice a week or, or four times you you do daily you know you take your food daily yes yeah yeah in the same way we have to recite the holy quran because this is uh, is our spiritual food so we have to recite the holy quran on daily basis okay this is what our uh, huzur has asked us and advise us to recite the holy quran one two three pages on daily basis okay so it is very important for the fluency okay no problem uh so i move to now next uh, part 29 and give mic to another mm, okay so okay uh, l09 can you please give mic to uh, the person to you you like to choose um yes i'll stop um If I just give mic to A four zero two. Yeah, give mic to A four zero two. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Ramtala. A four zero two. Yes. Okay, good. Your voice is not coming well. I mean, uh, little uh, louder. Okay. Okay. Read to me Taawuz first. You know, you know Taawuz. What is Taawuz? Do you have any idea what is the awuz? Uh, yes. What is that? Awuz billahi min shaitan rajim. Yes, awuz billahi min shaitan rajim. In terminology, it is called the awuz. The awuz means seeking refuge. Okay, seeking yes. refuge. Okay, read to me uh, beautifully. The awuz. <coughs> Nirajim, yes, and then after that, Basmala. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. Okay, just a minute. 
yeah your voice is cutting i think uh, uh, okay true maybe we can try afterwards okay now read to me from here where i you know put this line here after that in alil muttaqina start from here أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Come to your microphone. Put put your microphone near to your mouth because you know your voice is not clear. Put your microphone a little near to your mouth. Yeah, it is near. Okay, okay, okay. Start now. In the. Oh. No, no, don't don't worry about our tawus. It's done one time. Then uh, you know, read from here. Inna al muttaqina, in inna al muttaqina, in da Rabbihim jannatin na amin. Okay, uh, from which month you are? Birmingham Central. The same Central. Okay. Now, have you been taking these classes? Uh, how many classes you missed that? About five because um, um, our computer wasn't working and um, we had some Jumat events. Okay, no problem because you know uh, you have done some mistakes, very basic mistakes uh, from lesson one. Uh, did you download and put print these lessons and put them in your file or not? Um. Yes. Have you downloaded these lessons and and printed them? Have you printed them? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. And where did did you put that in your into your file? Only done the fourth one, the common errors one. No, no, not the common error. What the? Have you downloaded this lesson one? Twenty common errors. Have you done that? Yes. Okay. If you have downloaded, whether you have done two, three mistakes which are related to lesson one, for example, here in uh, this rule number ten. Okay. Rule number ten tells us that we have to pronounce mim and noon mushaddad, mim with the shadda sign and noon with the shadda sign, with nasal sound, with gunna about two counts. Okay. Now here you have to make nasal sound. You said inna lil mutakina. It's not inna lil mutakina because noon with with a shadda here, noon mushadda, noon with a tashdeed. It demands. It requires uh, two counts nasal sound. In like that. Read to me now. Inna lil mutakina. No, no. One minute. One minute. Inna lil muttaqina. Read to me. Inna lil muttaqina. After that. In in the in the Rabbihim jannati. No, it's Jann not jannati. Jannah. It is Jannah. not jannati. It's noon with the with the fatha. Noon with fatha uh, kaima. Okay, this is a it's a jannatin. This is vertical fatha. You have to take uh, two seconds. Okay, so jann uh, jann. You have to make nasal sound first. You have to hold nasal sound two seconds, and after that there is a vertical fatha for two seconds. Jannatin Naim. Read to me now. Jannatin Naim. Okay. Now I will read that this verse for you, and then you uh, listen listen to that attentively and uh, like to imitate after that. In Limut. تقين عند ربهم جنات نعيم. Okay, read to me now. إن المتقين إن المتقين عند ربهم جنات 
not na im jannatin im you have to hold nasal sound here you know uh, this noon noon mushaddad and then after that do not uh, put alif after that jannatin naim jannatin naim well done excellent well done it is quite improved now inna lil muttaqin inda rabbihim jannatin naim okay read to me again <coughs> and uh, why is why in uh, after that alif you have to you have to uh, you know your voice should stay inside your nose in not in uh, in lil muttaqin inda rabbihim jannatin naim read to me now in Takina, in the Rabbihim Jannatin Nahi. No, no, it's it's not here. You know, the last word is not good. You know, you have put alif after that noon. After noon, Mushadad, you have just added uh, alif. Jannatin Nahi. After noon, holding your nasal sound on noon, and just after that, ain. jannatin naim jannatin naim why is naim why is na why you putting your alif after that jannatin naim noon after that ain not alif jannatin naim jannatin naim no no it's not good jannatin na'tin na'im jannatin na'im now okay you have to practice afterwards okay um Okay, now we give mic to another one. Please uh, move to uh, another child, please. Elder Nine. Um, so if I just give mic to an N four six six. N four six six. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Bete, what's your ID? N four six six. Okay, which month you are? I am. What? Which? Which one? What? Your, your <laughs> name of your Jamaat. Jamaat, like where, like the area I live in. No, no, not area. The Jamaat. You know, who is sitting along along with you? Uh, should I get my mom? Do Do you know the name of your Jamaat? Uh, well, the, okay. Um, uh, okay. In which area you are? Area I live in Kingston Road. You you live in Kingston? Yeah. So this is a Kingston Jamaat. Most uh, uh, commonly or probably this is a Kingston Jamaat. Anyway, you have. You, okay. So. Uh, yeah. yeah you like to know you know you have to know the name of your jamaat as well okay it is good for okay. reference okay so I'm ask your uh, your uh, your father or your mother or any person elder person in your household what is the name of your jamaat okay yeah cuz i'm actually new to this uh, uh... the new, new new to this area okay no problem okay Okay, Bete. Uh, you uh, did you download these notes or lessons and put them in your file, or not? No, no but I will after this class. Yeah, it is important that you download all these lessons, print them, and put them into into your file. Otherwise, you cannot revise. You know, in order to revise on weekends 
or uh, in in uh, afternoon or after the cl after class is over when class is over it is important you know you know that okay now read to me now from here uh, you know afa naj'alul read to me now say ta'awud okay uh, a'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Mashallah, you have recited very well. Say Basmala now. Okay, good. Well done, well done. I am very pleased. Mashallah, you have all potential to go uh, further. Okay, after that. Kumun. Well done, well done. And one verse more, please. Am lakum kitabun fihi tadrusun. Okay, mashallah, mashallah. What's your ID? N466. Okay, N466. How many classes you missed? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's like one or two. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, you know, uh, within four weeks, if you've done one or two, it's okay. Your percentage must be good because uh, inshallah, within uh, today or tomorrow, we are going to generate a report, attendance report, starting from 16 March up to 15th of April. So four weeks reports are coming. And do you know your percentage in the first report? No. Okay, attendance report, your participation report. So we have given, uh, you know, send that report to your uh, parents. So they should share with you, you see, and you have to ask them, what is my uh, attendance report, my pers participation report, you know, how many uh, time, how much time did you spend in the class? and uh, how many times I uh, attended the class. So uh, we sent that a couple of weeks ago. Another report is coming, okay, because there is a, okay. a prize and uh, recognition uh, at the end of the program. But I'm very, very pleased that you have recited very well, mashallah, and uh, very, fl uh, very fluently and not any major mistake. And inshallah, you will improve more. Okay, good. Um, are you enjoying the classes? Yes. Okay. Uh, what about the teachers, the G2 teachers on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Were they good? Yes, very good. Alhamdulillah. Good, good. Excellent. Okay. Now, uh, okay. Assalamu alaikum. Give mic to another one, please. Um, okay. So now, uh, A414. Okay. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, what's your ID, Betty? L4. Okay, there is a, a, a lot of, uh, you know, the noise is coming. Maybe uh, your microphone is not properly aligned and set. Uh, you know, there is some, um, yeah. Okay, now read after, you know, this. From in Lakum, can you read from here? Okay. In Auzubillah. Okay, one minute, one minute. Have you done your uh, uh, ta'awuz? I'm not. Okay, do please first. No, 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 not, not like that. You have to recite it beautifully, properly, okay? There is no rush. There is no rush. This is a food. We have to take our food very patiently and properly, beautifully, taking your time. Okay, no rush. No rush in physical food, no rush in uh, this uh, Quranic food. Okay? Okay. Hmm. Okay. One, one minute. Now you are going to recite this verse. I want you to do a gunna here in 
and make sure no letter with fatha like la with more than one letter properly lama alif is there so you know taking all these steps in and the rules in your mind then you have to recite that one okay read to me now please to be la himina shaytan ur rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim inna lakum fi fi lam lama taghayyarun well done okay good so you have recited in a proper gunna was there uh, no letter was uh, prolonged more than uh, required so it is okay okay now next verse from here amlakum aymanum alaina baliza alaina una noon followed by alif is a you know in the beginning it was okay amlakum aymanum after here alaina not alaina alaina because alif is there okay alaina alaina baligatun ila yawmil qiyamati inna lakum lama tahkumun well done excellent and after sallum ayyuhum bizalika zaim not zaim zaim quickly because after za there is no alif okay alif madda alif elongation is not there so bizalika zaim bizalika zaim okay and after this you know this is a meme meme with school and you have to get you know prolong that ayyuhum bizalika zaim ayyuhum bizalika zaim okay one one verse more please amlahum ब्रेक there should be no pause in between a, in a word we have to repeat the full word together okay, okay. so start from the time and try to read in one go be sure ak be sure ka ihim after in ka nu sadikin okay well done okay good excellent okay So, have you downloaded this uh, these lessons or not? Did you download it? Um, I I downloaded half of them. I tried downloading the rest, but it didn't work. What didn't work? Um, when I was downloading them, it didn't let me. So you 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 have to try again and download all these lessons and print them and put them in into your file. Okay. Uh, okay. how many pages did you recite since yesterday so far and um, three pages three pages okay well done okay excellent so you have to recite on daily basis one two or three pages okay so you know in which part you are in 24 24 part 24 okay excellent okay good so you are from kingston and um, no east london east london east london acha mashallah alhamdulillah okay bete khuda hafiz and we move to another uh, student yes Jazakum please jazakumullah assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam and new student please is it on line um assalamu alaikum hafsa but just uh, before i proceed i just re- like to remind students that uh, please stop 
using this chat facilities uh, it's just for you and for your parents uh, if you have like an important question so please stop using it for unnecessary things yeah yeah it is it, it is quite it is very important announcement um, do not use this chat facility do not use this chat panel without any very general reason okay otherwise you will not be allowed in the classroom okay and i will speak to your mom or dad you know everything which you write here is being recorded and saved and it will be followed okay with your id for example a4 it is not good it will not be tolerated a triple four don't do next time a402 don't do next time 406402 okay please give mic to another one okay so if i just give mic to and 461 and i think she had some question as well she were writing on the yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum rahmatullah what's your id beta N four six one. N four six one. Yes. Okay, which month you are? Um, I'm in Lower Morden. Okay, Lower Morden. Okay, that's good. Um, do you have any question? Yes. Um, okay. at the start, you yeah. had uh, two lawn honors, and yes. you made uh, and you made one slightly longer than the other. Um, and I just wanted to know why. Where in the beginning? Yeah. Where you know in the uh, uh, because there were three one. One is in uh, and the second one Jannatin and then an an Naim. Which which you uh, thought the longer? It was Jannat. Jannat in the in the middle here. Yes. Okay, it's about two seconds. But when you uh, put alif after that, sometime in order to manifest that one a, a little longer uh, is added there. Okay, so there is no such uh, any point of concern. Sometime you know it should not be less than two second. Okay, and when there is after elongation, then uh, sometime it is more increased. But nothing, uh, not any change, any any meaning or nothing is there. Did you understand that? Yes, thank okay. you. Okay, no problem. It should not be less than two seconds. But if it little increase, this is because a letter of elongation is afterwards. Okay, and it is more uh, manifested. Okay, now uh, do you like to read now? Yes, please. Okay, start now, Tavus. ഷു അ ഈക്വൽ എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് ടൈം ഷുഡ് ബി ഗിവൺ ടു ബോത്ത് ഹരക്കാർ ഈലസൂജൂദി okay well done mashallah you have recited very well uh, apart from ilas sujudi uh, you have to be more mindful about uh, ain sound yud'auna and again here yastati'una okay remember this uh, you have to make difference between alif a 
and the a sound okay a ayn is coming from middle of throat so you the auna you the auna little tinkling in your middle throat and yes tati auna uh, otherwise it's okay now uh, read to me the next next uh, verse please khashiatan absaruhum tarhaquhum zillah no no not zilla no and after that after lam there is no alif that it is simple zilla zilla not zilla wa qad no no one minute one minute one minute you have to recite again you know if there is any mistake and the teacher uh, rectified that one and advise you so you have to repeat it at least two three times okay so absaruhum absaruhum tarhaquhum zillah well done after wa qad qanu not kanu not kanu after kaf there is a alif wa qad kanu wa qad kanu wa qad kanu yud awda ila sujudi wa hum salimun okay mashallah you have recited very well you just zil ka kaf alif long kanu and here seen this is a bit a simple scene this is s sound you know simple empty sound it should not be a thick sound wahum sa now wahum sa sa you know you you make your uh, mouth flat you know when you know like in a smiling mode is a smiley letter wahum salimu not sa wahum salimu make make your uh, face smiling and flat and smiling okay do that wahum um wa hum salimun okay were you uh, were you little smiling when you said sa yes okay good okay so this is not a serious letter this is a uh, smiling letter okay smiling letter this is a uh, you know non serious letter non smiling letter ab so so this is a thick letter ab so ruhum but this scene is a smiley letter smile you should, your your face should be flat and smiling wa hum salimun try again wa hum salimun okay excellent well done okay now we move to a uh, new child new student please assalam alaikum for me now uh, so now if i give mic to a406 yes a406 please Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. A four zero six. Waalaikum assalam. Rahmatullah. Wa barakatu. Yes. Waalaikum assalam. Rahmatullah. Why were you using chat panel? You know, unnecessarily. Yes. Why you do? Mm, because people were um, doing it. Okay. You will you do next time as well? Four zero six. You will know. Don't use it. Okay, you have to use wisely. Okay, otherwise it will waste our time, your time, and others' time. Okay. Okay. Now, which month you are? Glasgow. Sorry. Glasgow Glasgow okay good well done so very far so mashallah i'm very pleased that you are taking pro, uh, part uh, in this class from glasgow um okay now did you download these lessons and print print them and put them into your file or not yeah uh, have you done that yeah how many classes did you miss so far zero Sorry, zero. Zero. Excellent. So you deserve a prize at the end because you are coming to, inshallah, Allah by twenty fifth our last class and uh, the second report of attendance report and participation report is coming, and you have a bright chance 
to be nominated and picked up like uh, a prize or recognition prize. So let me know, uh, did you receive, um, your, your parents did receive uh, attendance report uh, a couple of weeks ago? Yes. What was your percentage? A hundred percent. Okay, good. So this is a cross reference check. It was made and you're done very well. Okay, now read to me now. From here. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi rahman ar-rahim. Fazar zi wa man. Fazar ni. No, not zi. Fazar ni. Fazarni wa mayju kazibu bihazal hadis sanastad. One minute. You see, uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, uh, teacher must have told you about zal, how to pronounce zal. Zal is a soft letter, is a smiling letter, and you know, is you just listen to me three four times you know and maybe you can pick afterwards you know is a soft letter when your tip of tongue is coming from your upper and lower teeth little bit longer you know uh, sorry uh, out and it will be that it's a well woman you can say not not kazibu. Uh, I cannot show you here, uh, but anyway, uh, if, you know, make, make make your face flat and smiling. Make your face flat and smiling when you pronounce this dal, and your tip of tongue is touching your uh, upper uh, two teeth. Okay, upper two teeth. Your tip of tongue is touching upper two teeth. Say kazibu. Kazibu. Say again. Kazibu. Kazibu. Little better, but again. Kazibu. Kazibu. Not, not yet. Wamayu kazibu. Wamayu kazibu. No, no, no. It's not. No, not yet. Anyway, uh, maybe we will. I will be giving you uh, the class, the visual image and visual uh, demonstration. Inshallah, you can see the video as well. When I would be talk, uh, teaching in, in maybe next next time. Okay, uh, not to worry. Uh, after that, Sanastadri Jhum. Sanastadri. Rijuhum min haysu la yalu la ya'lamun Okay, you have tried your best to recite, but there was one big word. You uh, broke that word and started afterwards. You took breath in between. I know that because, uh, your, because of your age, uh, maybe you, are, you have not big breath, uh, you know, this time. But remember, if you say sanastad and then you took a breath and after that rijuhum or juhum, that is not good. You have to read every child, every student here in the class, G1, G2, G3 or any, any, uh, at, at any stage, any age, you have to read the full word in one go. Okay, sanastad rijuhum, not sanas and then tad Rijuhum. So start start from the very beginning uh, and try to read in one go. Sanastad rijuhum min hai sulaya lamun. Well done, excellent, impressive. You have done impressive performance. And afterwards? Wa umli lahum in kaidi. Mas, okay, good. Mateen, but little longer this inna because two seconds. Inna, say. 
in yes and after kazi kai di matin theek hai good in kai di matin okay good excellent well done okay 406 uh, jazakumullah and inshallah taala keep listening keep uh, reading on daily basis uh, in which part you are reading beta your your daily recitation in which para kunja kunja part pe khan par pe chapter kon se kon se part pe khan par pe shooting chapter 14 chapter 14 okay so you are reciting uh, on daily basis once once a week twice a week or daily daily okay excellent i'm very pleased and are you reading the holy quran in sequence in order or you know wherever you uh, open your uh, holy quran you just do that or you just re- reading that in order order okay so if you are if you are reading on daily basis okay and if you are reading uh, in order so many many congratulations to you i am very pleased and this is what i uh, require from each student that they should read in order if you are now in uh, chapter number 14 finish that next chapter 15 and continue so on and then we complete 114 you you know that what is the difference between a part and chapter if i say part 14 and if i say part for chapter 14 what is the difference between part 14 and uh, chapter 14 mm-hmm. just what is mm-hmm. do you have any idea you mm-hmm. know 30 parts okay there's like uh, 30 parts Yeah, 30 parts. There are, you know, the part means para. Para is a, a Urdu word, okay, and Persian word. So there are 30 parts and 114 chapters. You said I am reading from chapter 14, so it means surah number 14, okay. So 114 chapters, 114 surahs, um, and uh, part 14. So you were in part 14 or chapter 14? part 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 so okay so you have to rectify this you are in part 14 para number 14 ruba mai wadul ladina okay so i you basically uh, little behind uh, from uh, in the middle okay so there are when there are 15 parts together that is the middle of the holy quran so you are in 14 inshallah taala uh, soon you will be in 15 and uh, before Ramadan, you will be be in the second half. Okay, four zero six. Assalamu alaikum. See you next time. Okay, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Rahmatullah. Okay. Uh, now another student, please. Um. Yeah. So now, if I just give my two and four five two, and I think she has a question as well. Yeah. Please. Excellent. Well done. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Rahmatullah. Wa Bete, what's your ID? N four five two. N four five two. And in which month you are? Birmingham East. Oh, Birmingham East. Well done. Okay. Uh, do you have any question? Yes. Um. You know, at the end of the um, uh, not wait, eight. Yes. Um. Yeah. When it's like double, double the ma. Uh. Don't you say like if it's like you know for the last um. Uh, I. It, it's matin. Matinun. Yes. Matinun. Yes. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be matinu? No. No. Not like that. You see that in uh, lesson two. Okay. First of all, let me know. Uh. Did you download these lessons or not? Yes, I did. Okay. Good. Have you printed them? Yes. Okay, and put them in your folder. So this is lesson two. But I look here. This is Maktoumin. Okay, Maktoumin. This is a two kasra, kasra tain, or two fatha, fatha tain, or damma tain. Then these, you know, change into a school. Like Maktoumin, it will be Maktoum, and like uh, you give example of uh, two, um, 
you know, two dhamma. So, for example, is here two dhamma here two dhamma musfira. So it will be musfira. So we come to this conclusion. Uh, just a minute. Uh, come to this conclusion that if there is a uh, two dhamma or two kasra or two fatha. For example, here two kasra magramin. And here is uh, to Dhamma, so that will change into a school. Okay, Matin Magram only when there is a two fatha, it change into vertical fatha, and inshallah it will cover. Uh, you know, for example, lesson two here. Look, this uh, I told you if there is a, a two kasra, it's just school here. Look, this is school, just a minute. Uh, this is a school okay yeah. so ma in hamza with school and if there is a uh, two kasra like that and this you can see here it turns into a school but when there is a two fatha there is a special rule it is not turned to a school but is a vertical fatha like not nisa but nisa a uh, little longer okay so in this case, so it will be mati, not mati nu, because it will change into a school. Okay, did you understand? Yes. Okay, now can you read me, read to, read for me now? A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Am tas aluhum ajun pahum in magramin muskalun. Okay, one, one minute. You see, on lesson one, which you have already uh, downloaded, printed them, and put, uh, put them, uh, you know, these lessons in your folder. In rule number 10, tells us, reminds us that we must be mindful of two sentences on Gunna, okay? on Ni Mushaddad and Noon Mushaddad. Noon Mushaddad, Shaddad. Any letter with a shadda is called shadda. If I say noon mushadda, it means noon with shadda sign. Mean mushadda means mean with the sign of a shad or shadda. So in this case, you have missed here on fahum and mim. You missed that. Okay, and again magramim three four times nasal sound has been uh, have been missed. So here. Am tas alum ajuran fahum mim magramim mufalun. Look, fahum mim magramim mufalun. So try again. Um. Um, um, thus aluhum ajuran fahum mim magramim muskalun. A little bit longer. Fahum mim magramim Ajran fahum mim magramim muskalun. Well done, excellent. And after that? Um, in the humu gaibu fahum yaktubun. Okay, you have recited good, this verse, no mistake, only uh, this ayin should not be taken as uh, alif, hamza, okay? It's not alif with kasra, it's ayin, it's in, coming from middle of throat. So, we're mindful about uh, alif sound and ayin sound, okay? So, am ayin, am ayin, the little tinkling in the middle of throat, it will take time, you have, if, if you are mindful and keep practicing and inshallah Within a short of time, uh, you you can master that one. Am عندهم الغيب فهم يكتبون. Try again. Um, 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 عندهم. Not not. Am عندهم. Um, عندهم الغيب فهم يكتبون. Okay, good, good try, good try now. Um, because a couple of minutes are left. I want you to read to uh, another verse now. First, will hook me, Not, not, li, li hook me, not, not li hook me. This is again 
where you have produced nine sounds, the ha is coming on the same place. First bear li hukmi, li hukmi is a sharp sound, okay? This is not empty sound, it's a sharp sound. Li hukmi rabbika. First bear li hukmi rabbika wa la takun kasahibil hood. Kasahibil hood, hood. You know, this ha, you have to work on ayn sound and on your ha sound, okay? So it is important that we have to, these are one of the 10 mispronounced letters, okay? So inshallah, if you work hard on this one, it will be okay. And after that? Okay, well done, excellent. You know that uh, uh, what is the meaning of al -hud? Do you know what is al -hud? No. It means fish, big fish. Okay. okay. What is the meaning of al -hud? A big fish. Big fish. You know whale fish? Have, uh, have you seen? Do you have any idea? No. Big fish, you see? <laughs> anyway, this is in the big, you know, for the time being, just remember this one word. Al-Hut means fish, and fish is not a small fish, it's quite big fish, okay? Okay, okay. so, okay. and now we'll finish our class. Um, so, in child discipline, can you please give mic to uh, another child for uh, the, the prayers, concluding prayers now? Uh, if I give mic to A418. Okay, good, excellent. Wise. Asalaamu Alaikum, A418. Asalaamu Alaikum, A418. Asalaamu Alaikum. I think he's not there. So if you and and for eighty nine and for eighteen and for and for four eighty nine. Okay, and for eighty nine. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. What's your ID? N489. Okay, good, mashallah. In which month you are? Pearly. Pearly, okay, that's good. Okay, now can you, uh, can you read for me now this beautiful prayer? Can you read from here? Oh, maybe I think one minute. Uh, maybe it's, I think. Huh? Okay, not to worry about that. Read, read for me. Um, okay, up to here, the translation up to here. Oh Allah. Can you read the translation? Can you see the screen? I don't know. Okay, can you give mic to another uh, another student? Um, yes. Um, N470. Yeah. yeah. Asalaamu Alaikum, N470. Okay, wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Okay, read after me. Allahumma arhamni. Allahumma arhamni. Bil Quran al Azim. Bil Quran al Azim. Wajal Huli. Wajal Huli. Imam Wa. Imam Wa. Nuran Wa. Nuran Wa. 
Udam wa rahma. Udam wa rahma. Okay, good. Now read to me the translation. Can you see the screen now? Yes. Okay, uh, please read this translation for me now. Oh Allah. Oh Allah, yes. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran. Make it, make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Okay, good, excellent. In which month you are? Um, I'm in London, Rahampton. Okay, mashallah, Rahampton. Okay, near Fazil Mosque. Okay, okay, Jazakumullah to everyone. Uh, we conclude this uh, today's class, and this is Friday. Okay, every every student who is now, first of all, the the class was the, you know there was forty two students but uh, attendance, but this time I am seeing the thirty nine, so it means that uh, three uh, students have uh, gone without taking permission. You know, unless teacher conclude and say, okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, last, uh, you know the and give the permission, you are not allowed to go there. This is against the etiquettes of our majalis taught by, to us by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu and the Holy Quran clearly mentions about this in Surah Noor. So anyway, uh, be mindful that when uh, you go, you go with permission, okay? Even if you are in the online class or in, in your mosque or in Salah <coughs> Center. So I like uh, from every child, male uh, from Nasrat and Atfal, to recite this surah, Surah Al-Qalam and Surah Al-Haqqa loudly, uh, moderate loudly at, at uh, in this weekend. And inshallah, I'll see you uh, on Wednesday on G2 classes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.